Yona. There we go. Bloom! Angels with scaly wings. Oh! Shinji Hozo. Welcome to trying various games, whatever volume this is. That word has ass in it. Oh, hi. Appreciate a Dragon Day edition, one day late because I didn't think of it yesterday. Who the hell is that? Go away. Oh. That's not something I wanted to see. That's not a good start to appreciate a Dragon Day. Who's this twat? I'm going to save the dragons. Look at the beauty. Even if the art is a bit weird. Kind of. Solar F. I don't know what all these words are. Ego. Yes. They should not be squandered or mishandled. Ah. I probably won't keep this one up too long because it is just a visual novel as far as I can tell. But let's have a look. Is it loud enough? Probably. Hopefully. No. I'll just move the microphone closer to the speaker for this one. User profile not found. It's not a computer. Choose a colour, red. Oh, I thought pressing R would choose it. Does this look right? What? No, oh, that looks like an H. Drahaya. Whatever though. I think I typed it right. Before we start, please review the following information. Controls. Left click and enter. Oh, or enter. Man. These are some controls. Oh, they are actually. Oh gosh. This is a lot of controls for a visual novel. That would be all. It would be all, but it isn't. The year is 20XX. Oh, it's a Mega Man visual novel. Only recently has humanity discovered a portal that leads into a different world populated with a race of intelligent talking dragons. Oh! I was one of the few to travel to this world. It's a story about me, hopefully. But maybe I should start at the beginning. No, get to the dragons. It all began when we discovered a strange device in the middle of nowhere during one of our expeditions. A portal. Oh no, not GLaDOS all over again. I had heard about similar technology before. Though that had been more on an experimental level, from what I knew, other portals had been created in the past and were under consideration for mass application. As oops, let me get rid of. I had a thingy open that I didn't want open. It was blocking my stream stats, such as dropped frames. Um, where was I? Yeah. As for this one in particular, though, we did not know who had built it, nor when, or why we found it in the wilderness where we did. What was more exciting? Phone battery is low. It's all going wrong. No, it isn't. Not yet. Oh, there's Bob. Go away, Bob. Uh, what was more exciting was the fact that it was functional. After our first test, we found there was someone else on the other side who was in possession of a similar portal, and our attempts at communication through letters were, were successful. But in the end, the machine's extraordinary demand for power meant we needed to act quickly as we wouldn't be able to keep the portal open much longer. Don't delay, jump in today, dragons. Okay, that's alright, we're starting off with a, a reading heavy one so there'll be more exciting games later, soon. When we made this known to the other side we received a very unexpected reply. Dragon porn? Oh, nah, that's still open down there. I can see it dangling down. No! That's a belt of the Argonian on my desktop background. Oh, why is his belt undone? No, it isn't. Uh, we received a very unexpected reply. A letter of an invitation. After some deliberation, it was decided to accept their hospitality and send a person to the other side. Oh, yes. 
everyone's going to be 69ing. It's going to be 69 spam. Drakaya's going to get exhausted. That's alright though. There was an individual who took the job almost immediately. Me! I look like an idiot, as in a human. Oh, sorry. Reza is queerdo. I thought I put my name as Drakaya. I knew him, or rather had known him. Oh, this is someone else. We attended the same school back then and even had a few classes together. We never really were very close friends, but we talked to each other occasionally and hung around with the same crowd sometimes. However, we still went our separate ways in the end. I don't care about him then, do I? He's not relevant to the story. I wasn't sure what to think about the whole thing, but he had to have known what he was doing. He certainly was brave. Either that, or just very, very attracted to dragons. Oh, very foolish, sorry. While I wasn't sure which, his courage was uh, applauded by others. After all, he couldn't possibly have known who or what would await him at the other end of the portal, and if he did meet someone there, who knew what kinds of intentions they might have? Eat him. Not that any speculation on our part would have made a difference. Ooh! Get to the dragons! I could skip it, maybe I will at some point, because I just want dragons today. This isn't a serious try of the game. When the day finally came, through he went, with applause echoing across the area, equipped only with the clothes he wore. His multi-tool, a gun, oi! And a device on his wrist that acted as a PDA. Pregnant... Dragon ass. Oh! Well, you'd have to be friends with the dragon first to make sure he doesn't. And to make sure it's fed at first, otherwise the hunger might kick in and he couldn't resist a bit of sausage. Then we waited. The crowd that was applauding him slowly dispersed. Oh, they vaporized. When the enthusiasm died down, as there was nothing for us to do but wait and speculate. I thought you said there was no speculation. <clears throat> Approximately eight hours later, we received our first message from him. So much for the portal not staying open for long. Well, we had assumed the portal led to another in a different country, or maybe on a different continent, the reality turned out to be much more foreign. You saying a different country isn't foreign. I'm saying a different world is more foreign. The situation he described to us was so outlandish that we initially took it as a joke. A very bad joke, maybe, with even worse timing and no punchline at all. It soon became clear to us, though, that we may just have made one of the most important discoveries since the dawn of mankind. It will be the dusk of it soon if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> what was that? Finding the portal had been remarkable in itself, but this took it to a completely different level. From what he described about the place, or more accurately its inhabitants, we surmised it could not be part of Earth at all. We call them dragons, because according to Reza, that's what they were, or at least what they resembled most. Deviant art dragons at that. Even though we found it hard to believe, it had been those dra these dragons who sent us all the letters, and what Reza found on the other side of the portal was a whole civilization of them. They could talk, write books, had buildings and electricity. In many ways, their society was actually very similar to our own. Did they master... Who... so who were they? And where was this place? Could they be aliens? Our speculations led us to conclude otherwise, after all, we knew about the existence of thousands of planets millions of light years away that may have been theoretically habitable. Yet, even then, we had never found conclusive proof in regards to actual alien life forms. Some people brought up quantum mechanics and parallel universes, but in the end all of this was just conjecture and an ultimately fruitless endeavour. Since we neither had the means nor the resources to explore these possibilities in greater detail. Man, what happened to the days when I couldn't read? I remember playthroughs that had a bunch of reading and I kept messing up all over the place. I've improved somehow. I think there's just one thing, one more thing worth mentioning before I move on. The previous isolation had been mutual. They hadn't known about any other intelligent life form beyond their own. Their portal had only recently been discovered and was a technology previously unknown to them, and just as we had had myths about dragons, they had myths about us. We're rubbish to have myths about. It, I think it does have dating, and one of the tags is sexual content, but I can't imagine it will be like adult sort of stuff. Uh, welcome back. And hi, Spike. 
Welcome to Dragon Stream. Perfect stream to be at. How are you today? That was what we knew about them so far, and as interesting as learning those things and debating our cultural significance was, their cultural significance was, we don't really know what we should make of it all. Reza apparently was sure of what he was doing though, as he eventually let us know that they had agreed on a trade. We were to give them a few of our PDA devices which contained vast amounts of knowledge, dwarfing even that of encyclopedias. In return, they would supply us with generators. Overall, they didn't seem as technologically advanced as we had been, but they did surpass us in that one aspect. Their means of generating energy seemed sustainable. Not only that, but evidently also quite efficient, we certainly would be able to put technology like that to good use and trading mere past knowledge of the human race for something more tangible was a good call on his part. Yeah, good to see you. Last time was that unfortunately cut cut short Dark Souls stream because of the power flicker. That was where I came in. What, the butt? Oh, not that kind. Sorry. My prior experience in both biology and sociology made me a good fit. In the butt? No. To deliver our PDA devices for the trade. And while in the Dragon's World... Oh! Waiting for the prototypes of our generators to be manufactured by them, I would act as an ambassador on humanity's behalf. What a way to make a first impression by a display of mutual goodwill. Everyone benefits and everyone goes home happy. I wouldn't go home happy, I want to stay. All is well. At least, that was the plan. <sighs> Despite the images that living talking dragons might conjure up in some people's minds, I didn't even think of bringing a weapon myself. Good. Don't. Considering that they were reportedly friendly and peaceful enough, there was no need for me to fear potential ill intentions like Reza did when he stepped into unknown territory, and acting as humanity's ambassador, I had to do my best to uphold a high standard in fostering this diplomatic relationship. When the time came for me to step through the port, all my mental preparedness vanished. My anxiousness was fueled by all the questions lurking in my head just as the machine started to do its work. Yeah. I might start skipping it a bit until we see dragons. In fact, yeah, I will. Skip mode. Skip mode doesn't work. It flashes up for a second. Uh, oh, oh, what have I done? Oh! Oh, suddenly a shiver coursing through my whole body and beyond when I disintegrated as if every cell, every atom of my body was torn from me and pulled into a different direction. I died. Now we're getting there. We're going to get greeted by a... Oh. I saw darkness and light, painting patterns in the stars as I travelled, and images rapidly flashed before me of things unseen and unspoken, both horrifying and beautiful. It was an experience unlike any other, yet over in just a split second. That was more than a split second. Then it was dark. Oh, a dragon's sitting on me. Stop it! I could only see a blah, blah, blah. Oh, reptilian head I saw. Huh? Hi. So, hi, uh, how would you like to, you know, go back to your place or something? Do you want to get married? Well, do they? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, how much do books cost, generally? Because that's pretty much what it is but with art as well. I, I feel, I don't know. Sometimes they have choices, so it does have some interactivity. It was a dragon! And as I could see now, a dragon who not only had a pair of round glasses, but also wore a burgundy tie around its neck. In the name of our people, I bid you welcome. Why are you... Oh, wait, that's the dragon. If I may introduce myself, I'm Remy, your guided ambassador, a representative of our council. That's a dragonly um, voice. The dragon spoke. It was one thing to have heard and read about this, but something else entirely to have one standing in front of me in flesh and blood. And tongue. Oh. Get very familiar with that tongue. It was good that all my mental preparedness had disappeared when I was teleported, because nothing could have prepared me for this. Oh yeah, Remy with a Y. 
That's your dragon alter ego or something. Hi. Rrr. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's not too different from a book then. Although I guess visual novels tend to not last as long as a book. Maybe a couple hours, whereas a book could last more, probably. I don't know. Sorry, I imagine you might still feel the effects of the teleportation. Drowsiness or weakness is not unusual, as is fainting and spontaneous. Don't you mean nor is fainting and spontaneous emptying of your bowels? Oh! Scat is happening already. No, it isn't. Bladder or stomach, how do you feel? Rendered speechless, I had totally forgotten that I was shouldering the burden of representing my people to them as well. So much for being professional, but at least he gave me a good excuse for my blunder. I think I'm alright. Grin! Well, I'm glad to hear that. No, it's not owo time yet. I haven't seen the dragon's bulge. Maybe we should go before it gets too dark. Uh, does it get darker than this? Come with me, please. Oh, gladly. Yeah, maybe not even that. Just hold the skip button and it all whizzes past. I think that was the um, the Christmas special that I did. The thing with mistletoes, or whatever it was called. Um, how long to beat said that was 20 minutes long and it ended up being like 2 hours. They must have sped run that by holding the skip button. So I followed the dragon, not straying too far from him. Hey, why would you want to? As the sun had already departed for the day and the remaining light diminished by the minute. I saw that as manure for a moment. It's getting hard to see where I'm going. Sorry about that, but we had a good reason to schedule your arrival like this. We did not want you to be ambushed by a crowd. I wanted to. So we had to keep your exact time and date of arrival secret. Thanks, I suppose an event like this would make me a celebrity of sorts. It would be the same if one of you came to us. I would swarm. Yeah, maybe. If they have hoverboards here. They do have quite a lot of technology, they said, so probably. That's quite an understatement. Some people here are rather superstitious. They might regard you or any of your kind as divine, I suppose. You're the divine ones. Really? How so? We do have certain myths that involve humans and as such. Oh, I suppose the history lesson will have to wait for another time. Here we are. It just looks like a normal place. By this point, it had gone so dark that I could barely make out the building before us. I briefly wondered whether they might have street lights elsewhere, or if they just did not require any due to possible enhanced eyesight or night vision. I could vaguely see the dragon, his light colour still visible within the blackness that engulfed the area, rear up, oh, and manipulate the door handle with one of his forepaws. Squeak! It's fatness, creaking on the floorboards. Hinges creaking, the door opened. I heard that. And with the flick of a switch, the apartment was flooded with light, blinding me after all the time we had just spent without it. Excuse me, dragons have different anatomy than us, so why do they just happen to have exactly the same kind of furniture? Oh, probably because they used art that already existed or something, or didn't want to make imaginative dragon furniture. This is where you will live for the time being. I'm mostly joking, by the way. It's just a fantasy story, not a real criticism. It is fully stocked, but in case you need anything else, I left you a note with a few phone numbers. It's getting rather late. You keep saying that, kind of. It's already late. So I'll have to take my leave now. In any case, someone will come and meet you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Remy. Have a good night. Until we meet again! Oh no, I'm alone again. With a nod, Remy left the apartment, mindful enough to close the door behind himself. Surveying the room, I considered the events that had just transpired as my gaze met the window. I could see movement outside, uh oh. And as I drew nearer, startled, I could hear footsteps in the grass. Oh, this pit picked up quickly. Hi, oh, funny. This is a visual novel. Angels with scaly wings. One of multiple dragon themed games we'll be doing today tonight. How realistic. If not, there should be. That should be one of the internet rules if there isn't a YouTube channel dedicated to something. 
I mean, if there's something, if something exists, there's a YouTube channel to hold me dedicated to it, yeah. Yeah, you should. I could see you moving outside, and as I drew near startled, I could hear footsteps in the grass moving away quickly, assuming it must have been the dragon I just met. I thought nothing of it as I went to bed and slowly succumbed. Suck cum bed to the sweet allure of sleep overdue. Um, I spent a few moments thinking about my role, my mission, and what it meant to be here now. I, w I felt the responsibility placed on my shoulders. I was eager for the adventure to come. Is this a choice? It is. Eager. For dragons. But how is funny today? Don't worry too much. This one won't go on too, too long. Just a quickie. And then we'll get to the, the ones that are more gamey. Yeah. Something like that. None of them are realistic, because in real life you don't use a mouse and keyboard to move around. Zero out of ten for all of them. Except VR games. Skyrim VR, 69 out of ten. So many possibilities and prospects raced through my mind. Truth be told, the thought of being able to meet an entirely new species in civilization excited me especially because they're dragons, as I was going to be one of the first to truly experience their society with its own little quirks, differences and similarities. I couldn't help but feel like some sort of modern Vasco da Gama or Marco Polo. Who are these people? I at least know the name Marco Polo. Maybe I would even write a book about the whole experience after it's all over. I was sure it would become a hit, all things considered. It would become something on fan fic sites adult ones at any rate this is going to be fun yeah it better be mm. oh good any excuse to play Spyro is a good excuse not that you need an excuse to play Spyro because it's Spyro I might have to continue them again soon still working on 100% in all three files but been taking a break but good morning, or afternoon, and I hope your animating goes well today. I awoke from uneasy dreams, looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. Let's get get to the dragons again. Whoa. Is it Remy again? Oh, hello. Oh, arrest me. Put me in jail. Cuff me to the bed. Oh. Sorry. Sebastian, you're short. Oh dear. Don't get too drunk. Unless you're safe. Oh. Well, I hope your graduation and everything goes well, if that's soon. Or even if it's not soon, hopefully it goes well when it does happen. But yeah. Hello, you must be Drakaya. I'm Sebastian and I'll be your escort or security. Why is the police nervous, I suppose? Usually I work for the police though, nice to meet you. You seemed a lot smaller than Remy. I guess you should be sounding like this then. No, because he's not a child. And when he somewhat nervously extended his arm towards me, I noticed he apparently only walked on his hind legs. The two forelimbs instead having distinct arms, hands and fingers. Kiss his hand! When I took his hand into mine, preparing to kiss it, I could feel the individual bumps and scales on his rough skin. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice to meet you too, Sebastian. So where are you taking me? Straight to business, eh? We're going to visit the plant where they are making your generators. They have some news for you, so I've heard. Reza will be there too. Who's Reza? Oh, him. I don't want to meet him. Sounds great. No, it doesn't. Just follow me. Clump, clump. Is Reza dead? While we walked, I was under the impression we were purposely avoiding the busier parts of town, and instead straying towards the edges and small alleys, as to not garner too much attention. Even then, we got the occasional stare. Come over and say hi, dragons. After just a couple of minutes, we arrived at our destination, where we were met by Reza, as well as yet another dragon, a vicious-looking beast. Oh! That didn't stay too close to him. 
is that the ego one, oh, grumpy and handsome. The human can bog off, though. Hey! Res a long time no see. I wish it was longer, though. When is June? Oh, still a while then, I suppose. Plenty of time to rest easy. If that is resting easy. I don't know if it'll be more good when you have them or something. I don't even know what graduation papers are. How true that? How true that is. Good to find see another human face around here. What a coincidence to have you of all people show up. Yeah, I guess those degrees aren't so useless after all. You can see your MIT training really pays for itself. By the way, who's your friend? Just my bodyguard, same as yours. He's not a bodyguard, he's a nervous little runt. Oh, music. What is this kicking in? Don't bother with him, he doesn't talk much. He looks grumpy. That's what he always looks like, and yes, that does mean he's always grumpy. The two dragons exchange a few words, and as I met the gaze of the larger tene te tene tenebrous, whatever that word is, dragon a few paces from us, Sebastian turned towards me and spoke up again. Oh, look at him. Hey, Drakai, this is Maverick. Nice to meet you. Yeah, whatever. Just don't expect me to give you any special treatment like everyone else is, and we'll be good. Oh, what are you talking about? So you're saying you haven't noticed the stairs and how they will treat you like you're the next messiah or something? No, I just thought... We're not the ones making a big deal out of this, you are. Calm down, don't raise your voice to a dragon. We're just here to get what we agreed on and then we'll be gone. If anything, I'd actually prefer if you left us alone, but you're the one who insists on throwing me around wherever I go. Oh yes, eat him. A growl escapes the darker. Is he darker? It's pretty light actually. Darker dragon's trembling lips as he bared his teeth at Reza. Alright, alright, that's quite enough. Let's just all go inside already, shall we? After you. The crisis was quickly averted as we entered the building, which was characterised by its many floors, high ceilings. Looks about like a normal building actually. Looks like Japan. Or at least looks like anime schools. Kind of. Um, long narrow hallways as Sebastian led us to our destination. Oh. Why have you got goggles? And a pencil behind your fin. There you are, I was waiting for you. You seem female. This is so strange. Like, obviously I like it, because dragons, even though none of them have got... Oh, wait. Did Maverick have wings? I think he did. They're more like drakes. Or just dinosaur people. But it's weird, because it's just like a normal Earth-looking place. Wait a minute, I thought we were going to meet the guys from production. What are you doing here? I probably won't go too much longer. Oh, blushage already. We've seen quite a few dragons now already, that's all I wanted. They're only coming in later today, so you just have to make do with me. I see. Well, Drakaya, this is Anna. She kind of met... See, I know my dragons, I knew it was female. I'm a pro. She kind of manages... Oh, she kind of manages this building, though actually she's more involved with the research wing rather than production and engineering. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it is. My pleasure, I have something for you, by the way. Oh. It will take them a while to make all the generators we promised, but we've got one for you here. Feel free to send it home and give it a test. Now, That's great, I'll take it. Looks a little small, if you ask me. I can't see it. Don't underestimate its power. Oh, and do be careful not to drop it. They never finish. Well, that means the sex goes on forever. What happens if there's two mean guys then? They both finish at the same time, I guess. So I'll be waiting outside while you do your thing, Jakaya. I suppose I'll wait for you outside as well. No, don't go. Oh, actually, hi, Anna. What thing? 
Oh, have you brought the PDA? Of course, here you go. Alright, now to give this thing a test run. The PDA lit up as her hands uh, or paws swiftly moved around its interface in calculated motions. By the way, would you consider letting me run some tests on Whoa! on you as well? It would only take a drop of your cut blood. What? Why? I work in biology, so obviously this kind of thing would be very interesting to us. I'd share the results with you, of course. How do you know I have blood? Sure, why not? Do all the tests you want, babe. Great. She was quick to produce a small device from the drawer, which from a glance reminded me a lot of a test tube. Oh, she's blushing again. Why? Now if you'd give me your hand, please. As I reached out to her, she took my hand into hers before she pressed the device into the back of my hand. I winced in pain as... No, I winced as pain jolted through my hand. Something sharp drove itself through my skin and shortly afterwards a droplet of blood was sucked into a tube attached to the small needle. Thanks. You're welcome. What do you mean? Why are you so nervous about it or unsure? Two seconds into coitus. I don't know what coitus is. You gave Anna your blood. Looks like your PDA is good by the way, so we're just about done here. And since we're both in biology, how did you know that? It could be interesting if you want to meet me some other time as well. Here's my number. Oh! Alright. See you soon. Oh, I hope so. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, it was, mate. I think that'll do it for this one. I'll probably continue playing this uh, in my own time tonight. You know? No. Not really. It's not that kind of game as far as I know. But yeah. Dragon Love. Isn't it good? I don't know. We haven't had any yet. I could keep going. I am interested. But... It's been half an hour. We've got six games to get through, so half hour each might be good. Yum! I think this is overwhelmingly positive on Steam, by the way, so... If that isn't just a, a good sign, I guess so.